if you feeling like a pimp. Bienvenidos. 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 We're we trying, we trying out a new... Um... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué te pica? <laughs> Nothing <laughs> me pica. Nada me pica. No, te nada te pica. No, no, me pica. Me pica no pica. Pica mucho antes. No, me pica no pica. You know, my girlfriend, she wants to take me to Honduras with her. That's a terrible And idea. she keeps telling me how New York City is That's much more... a great more... idea. It is a great idea. And I'm going to go because I'm completely nuts. <laughs> but she keeps telling me how Honduras is much safer than New York City. And then, like, I somebody made a meme the other day. Honduras has... Eight times the homicide rate of New York City. First of all, who made that meme? I don't know. It was just explaining about how like people are saying how America's the worst, and then they compare it to the other places, and they picked Honduras. So Listen, I, I'm going to be going there this Christmas. It is later. so interesting to see. Are you going there for Christmas? I don't know. I don't know when I'm going. I'm going to go when I can go, nah, man. Bro, I, I love go, my you girlfriend. You should go in the off-season, bro. What's the off-season? I don't know. Whatever the off-season is in Honduras, that's when you should go. Well, they were. I, would, I wouldn't go for Christmas time. They were quarantined for like a year and a half, so off season has been every day over there. Damn! So that means that they're looking for gringos to come. Yeah, to come I, I, listen, I don't want to get fucked. I don't think it's smart to go now. I will wait till you know there's some resem- resemblance of an economy going on. And- yeah, but I don't want to get. I don't want to go there before I get too successful, and then it's going to be like really dangerous. Yeah, but like, I guess you could afford. Bodyguards? Then? Well, you know, you used to think that if you're in a foreign country and some shit goes down, they're going to go. The U.S. is going to send the State Department to go send someone to go get you. Yeah. But obviously, they don't do that anymore, though. Well, maybe not across the Atlantic, you know? Right. Well, oh, I guess that's in the Atlantic, Honduras, right? Yeah. That's No. Yeah. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, it's in the Atlantic. It's in the southern. It's but it's a, lot further to get to, it's a lot further to get to Afghan than, than Honduras. All right, but listen, but the homicide rate is eight times of New York City, so it's just as dangerous. I don't know. I don't think everything's getting reported. In All right, New man, York. listen. I, I, it's it's but preposterous. It's t- it's I'm no not going to get kidnapped, murdered. And... Uh, in Honduras, yes, but not in New York. You're all right about that. Well, that's what I'm saying. But I, get... I know how to see. That's the thing. But was it you who said to me that I might pass for a Latino if I go there? Or was it Debbie? <laughs> Debbie's uh, like, maybe yeah. they'll think you're like Puerto Rican. Yeah, or... but they'll test it. No, I'm going to pretend like I'm mute. No, 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 papa, no. You didn't know that Honduras' papa, third no. language is, uh. My boy, no work. <laughs> you didn't know that they do sign language as, as their third language? Oh, you mean gang signs? Yeah, they do gang. Well, then I'm going to just, I'm going to palsy my hands then, too. <laughs> I mean, listen, I got a whole plan. Honestly, that's my plan to survive World War III. Which is is the fan. I'm just going to act <laughs> mentally <laughs> retarded. No, man. Who's going to fucking kill the mentally... <laughs> Unless it's Nazis again. Yeah, if it, I just like curl up, beep, beep, beep. It is like, oh, this guy's not useful. Bang! I used to, I used to do that to um, avoid creepy guys when I studied abroad. What the fuck are you, you talking s- about, Ani? <laughs> you used to act like you would mentally act, challenge. Yeah, you okay, like, you want to hear challenge? this really fast story? Yeah. So I had a really shitty roommate. So we'd go out, and she would always leave me. She left me every single time, and we'd be like out, whatever. It, a long way to, away from home where I still had to walk and like yeah. late at night. Good friend. And so I would leave the club. What do you mean by leave you, by the way? Did she like... She I'm getting out of here, Ane. Go I'm p- pretend like you're retarded and get yourself <laughs> home. She literally wants to go fuck other people. All good. All good. But uh, I would like get to a, the sketchy part that I needed to get through to get home and I would sprint a block and then do a dead stop and do that for like five or six blocks just to look kind of crazy because oh, no one's going to fuck with yo, the crazy person. Yo, there's some, there's some people right <laughs> So you would, you would run full speed and then stop? Where, yeah. where was this? Still. Where was this? Where was this? In and then run Florence, full speed. Italy. In Florence, Italy? <laughs> Mamma mia, this girl look crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to rape I, her. I do think that I Mama avoided mia. danger she was twice. In Italy. Twice because of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. that's how they speak over there. <laughs> I, I thought it was Gabagil. Oh, Gabagil. Marona me, this <laughs> fucking girl is running <laughs> like a lunatica. <laughs> and no rape her tonight. No. <laughs> She's not going to be my wife. If she would have run straight home, I would have catch her. I would have raped her. But she stopped. But she stopped and like, that scared me. Like a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking Stevie King. <laughs> I don't know why he turned uh, it to it's a Mexican. Dominican Lou. Now I just carry a knife. <laughs> yeah. That's, listen. Yeah. I'm so happy I'm not a woman. Yeah, though. man, seriously. That's a rough life, son. Yeah. I do, I do. Wait, hold on. Before we get to the rough life of a woman, Ani, like, now you say you, you claim your friend was out there fucking. Yeah. Um, 
Was she just into Italian boys? Um, she was into a certain Italian boy. What's that? Mm-hmm. What was it? Uh, it's a me. He was just like the <laughs> owner of like a like people who produce or like pr- promoters for clubs and stuff. Oh, yeah, like of course. A He's a fucking Avicii. Yeah. I get yeah. you all the the dope is club. They, the guy just walks around with sparklers and yeah. champagne bottles. That's no, how he gets around. I knew like yeah. uh, 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 in my lifetime, I knew a few. Uh, promoters, right? Yeah. You know? yeah, me too, man. I knew friends who were promoting when I was in like elementary, junior high school. I knew kids who were like still in junior high school and shit, and they were promoting at Limelight. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Like, 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 <laughs> what? like wealthy, like connected kids who I knew from my neighborhood for you, fun, for like lists and to like get access everywhere. Like these dudes were. This dude was like, I, it's the, I know the dude still, man. You know, I, I. I New Yorkers, we just grow up too quick. Yeah, we grow up way too quick. I remember I went to. This is why there's helicopter parenting. Yeah, but that that backfires every fucking time. We had a discussion about this. You you let you you know you helicopter kid, you you know you keep them sheltered in this world, and then you what you let them out to the wolves. You know you got to let your kids slowly get poisoned a little bit, a little bit, bit. so they build an immunity to it. Mm. You know, almost like a natural immunity. You know. Like Almost nature. like if you were just amongst other people, mm-hmm. you would know how other people act. Well, that's what I was coming back to what I was talking about, like being a piece of shit when I was younger. You know, like, ki- listen, I got teased. I was a fat kid. I got yeah. made fun of. I, that made me stronger. Yeah, yeah That 100%. made me a better, funnier, more character of a human being. Did it suck at the time? Yeah, absolutely. But not having like because i couldn't go to my mom i couldn't go to my dad you know like i didn't have anyone to go to really and back then in school they didn't you know this is before like every kid remember, shot the school up, so they when, didn't even care remember when i went to my mom uh or like adults in my world i was like hey man i'm getting teased and they were like ignore it like that was uh of course yeah yeah you're bigger than that sticks and stones yeah but like mom they're hitting me with sticks and stones <laughs> they're like yeah but your bones break no, no. i would I, honest, I spent my entire childhood just keeping my mom from finding out anything this is a funny story let me tell you if, uh, let's see if kevin remembers this so you know i wasn't a tough kid and i wasn't a fucking like a fighter and stuff but i was a wise ass and that i would never shut my mouth and i'd always get myself into some shit and there was like some kid i used to probably make wise cracks on and there was this other kid I was friends with ended up becoming a cop, so this plays out correctly. He provoked a fight between me and this other kid. The other kid's name was Josh also. So they were like, oh, we got to have Josh versus Josh, which, by the way, I have another story of me fighting another Josh, also ends up terribly, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So they're like, we're going to have to do Josh versus Josh. And they're like, yo, and they're telling this other kid Josh, A, let's say. They're like, yo, you got to fucking... You let Josh Pallet talk shit to you like that and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yo, bro, stop fucking talking shit, bro. Leave yeah. the kid alone. And he got the kid so gassed up. The kid's like, let's, and like in front of everybody in the auditorium, he's like, let's do this today after school. And I was like, yo, bro, you don't want it, bro. And he's like, no, bro. And I was like, all right, let's do it then. <laughs> and, you know, and then you know how it is in junior high school. Every kid's coming yeah. up to you. Every, yo, I heard you're fighting yeah, Josh. Yeah, yo, like, you're fighting yo. Josh. Because we had a wall bound supermarket. So you got the whole school would come. The high school would come. They would like, someone would get a beep. Like, yo, there's a fight at the junior high school. Mm-hmm. So school day comes towards the end, and it's like ninth period. And the fucking kid comes up to me. He's like, he's like, hey, man, I thought about it, and uh, I don't want to fight you anymore. I was like, nah, 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 <laughs> buddy. I was like, you called me out in front of everybody, like made me look like a bitch. I was like, I'm not going to like not show up to fight you. Yeah. So I show up. He shows up, okay? The whole school's there. There's like 200 kids there, mm-hmm. right, in the circle. Everyone's talking shit. C- takes a couple steps from me. I'm not a big fighter. I took two swings. I cracked him one. And he, and he started falling backwards. Yeah. And I turned around and I walked away because I was like, he's not getting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I walked away and everyone's laughing and screaming and I walk away with my friend who ended up killing himself. But it wasn't because of that. And I get home and like an hour or two later, one of my asshole friends comes to my window and he yells, he was like, yo, fatso. And I'm like, what's I'm like, fatso? And I'm like, what's up? I go out the window. He's like, yo, bro. He's like, you don't know what happened. And I was like, what happened? He's like, yo, after you hit Josh, he fell backwards onto <laughs> one of the, onto, he, he named this black dude from like one of my classes, yeah. Sneakers, and he guys, and the whole bunch of them just beat the living shit out of him. Oh, shit. And he goes, and then the cops came and they blamed it on you. <laughs> this is what he fucking tells me. <laughs> 
You know? And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, yo, they beat him bad. They put him in an ambulance, bro. And yo, I got, bro, I got so paranoid. Did you snitch on yourself? I snitched on myself. I called, I called my fucking mom up. And I was like, mom, is I going to tell you something? And I told her the whole story. I told her the truth, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, my friend was making the whole shit up. But they did beat him up. <laughs> they they didn't up. call the police, and he didn't go on an ambulance. No, he, had, he had to walk that shit off. But he said, when I punched him, he fell backwards, and as he was falling backwards, he was... stepped on this dude Kerwin's sneakers, and then they just beat the shit out of him. So it was a rough day for him. Man. But it was a win for me, baby. No, I'm just kidding. I felt terrible about that. The other time I fought a Josh, I swung him around, and he hit his head against the... You remember this story? It was the last day of sleepaway camp. And it was this, this kid was like a really nice kid. And they were like, oh, last day, everybody fights each other. They're like, all right, this kid's name was Josh. They're like, it have to be a, a fight of Josh versus Josh. I was like twice the kid's size. I was like, oh, this is a good idea. And the kid's like, nah, bro, we doing it. So we're fighting inside of a bunk. And inside the bunk, it has uh, electrical outlets, little whatever they're called, boxes. I don't know what the fuck they're called. But anyway, we started wrestling, and I swung him around, and I cracked him on the side mm. of the electrical outlet. <laughs> Well, and I, he immediately like stopped and went like, ah! And I was like, oh no! This is my last day. I'm about to go home. And I carried the dude because like we were like up a hill, like up a mountain almost. I carried him down this like five ten minute mountain yeah. to the infirmary, and the whole time I'm like carrying him. I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry, man. You know that was an accident. I would never intentionally do that. I was like, please don't tell them that it was me, bro. And you know what? He snitched. He didn't snitch. Oh, good for him. He didn't rat me fucking out, the kid, because Josh's don't rat. Mm-hmm. And he, exactly two stories. Josh is not ratting, and he fucking. He found me on like Facebook or something like a couple of years ago. And he's like, I'm brain damaged. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm writing you from my chair. <laughs> no, but he actually he wrote me and I, I wrote him this long fucking like email, like, yo, you know, I don't I just I don't know if you know, I want you to know that like I really felt terrible about that, this and that. And he never replied to it. Like he wrote me back but didn't acknowledge anything. Good for him. I think I hit him so hard he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's you know what. Listen, the point is, let's I stop got, the violence. I got fucked up once. Uh, I got fucked up multiple times. But I remember this one. The first time I ever got fucked up is before I knew how to fight. Right. Uh, and it was in summer school, right? And it was this dude named John, bro. And we were taking the citywide exams, right? So that's the reason why I'm in summer school because I I didn't pass it the first time, right? So. And I'm honestly wasn't gonna pass it this time either. Okay. <laughs> That's just the truth. It was not happening. Right? But the teacher liked me. Right. So she'll come up and hook you up. And she'll be like, Mm-mm. Oh, and John was hating. Mm-mm. Go go here. Mm-mm, child. Mm-mm. This ain't the way out. Mm-mm. <laughs> you could be stuck in this neighborhood for a long yeah, time yeah, if yeah. you don't fucking so, circle B, Kevin fucking so, Sand Chisel. They told you shit like your third grade exams mattered more to get to a certain junior high school right. than it would in the sixth grade to get to junior high school. Does that make sense? No. Say shit like that. I didn't pay attention then, and I'm not paying attention So, now. So anyway, I didn't, like, in the beginning of this test, they go, if you guys get called cheating, it's an automatic fail. fail. Right. And there's, like, monitors walking around the hallway, peeking into the mm-hmm. court, in, into the classroom. Mm-hmm. Now these teachers helping mm-hmm. me, you know, she's cheating for me. Like she's like pointing at answers and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. And, and I guess she wasn't helping John, <laughs> right? She was just helping. So John me. lives at home with both can I be parents. Real? Can, I, can I keep it? Can I keep it funky? Can I keep it funky? Yeah. She was only helping the Latinos, bro. Yeah, I never noticed that in school. I yeah. never noticed. She not was just helping the Latinos. Good treatment because I look like a white human. So then, but I didn't know. Like I, I, that's coming to me now. I'm just realizing right. that because. Uh, all right, so Tyrone was next to me. Right. Right, it was a dude named Tyrone. He was next to me, and he goes, Kat, let me see the answers. Mm. So I'm like, I bet. I don't care. So like, I let him see my answers because she's helping me, but she's not helping Tyrone. Right. But John was like, yo, Kat, let me see the answers too. But mm. he's behind me. I was like, what the fuck you want me to do? Like He he was like, you want me to go like this? Yeah, man. So, could you, could you cheat your own way, yeah, bro. Yeah, find, find out. Do it, do it better. But they see that she's giving me the answers, so they want to get 
your answers. My answers. They were using all the same booklets, though, because they usually stagger the tests. This was a different time, bro. I think they were all using the same book. I don't yeah. even know. I, 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 I <laughs> My time was before yo, yours, yo, Kevin. Yo, yo, yo. This Honestly, is a different school district, bro. This, di- yeah, this, this shit comes out pre-filled <laughs> out. You yeah, just gotta yeah. you gotta <laughs> fill the circle. The passing the test, we're gonna put a dot in the right <laughs> answer. You gotta fill the circle. If you could get that circle filled. Anyway, so whatever. John's upset. He's a fucking bitch ass. He's mad. He's hating. Right? He got hate in his blood. He got hate in his blood. Hey, 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 his hey, last hey, name. Hey. Let's look him up. Let's look I don't know his last name, bro. But like we go, I was, I'm not, I'm not really thinking nothing. He goes, oh, after the test was over, he goes, I'm gonna fuck you up after this shit. Ooh. And I was like, I wouldn't do that because my older cousin's coming. Mm. And my older cousin was constantly fucking me up. So yeah. John yeah. was like this fat little t- tubby, like not a little tubby dude, but he was fat. And I was like, I'm pretty sure my cousin could take this dude. Right. Well, both of you could. Yeah, at least both. Mm. Jump of you him, could. man. Yeah. But my really, my concern was, was Tyrone because Tyrone was like. Honestly, like thirteen in like the third grade, bro. This dude was right, huge, right. right. So he got like a, he got experience and, fighting and, younger yeah, kids. And, um, <laughs> and, and and John was his best friend. So anyway, Tyrone. What was John? He was Spanish, also. No, he was black. He was, oh, black John. Black John. Black John and Tyrone. Yeah, have that out for Kevin Sanchez. Well, Tyrone, like we were waiting to get picked up. Right, Our parents and shit. We're in the third grade, bro. So right. like, Tyrone goes. He walks up to me. He goes, "Yo, John, looking for you, bro." Mm. <laughs> and then he goes, hey, he right here. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, caught out there, And Kevin. I'm waiting for my cousin, this motherfucker, late to mm, pick me up. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, do I leave? But if I go home without this motherfucker, right. mom might fuck me up. Right. That's the worst <laughs> ass beating that what John could do to me. Yeah, because mom could kill you. Boy, was I wrong. Right? So, kill John. sister. <laughs> John, no, that was my uh, bio. I know, man. Mom. I just wanted to slip that in there. Uh, <laughs> so John fucking um, he he uh, yo, he gets me against like the window, like these gates. Okay. Uh, oh, he did the body press. Yeah, and he starts like, like throwing blows. Wailing, he's wailing on you. But I'm be honest with you. Yeah. I didn't really didn't feel anything. Right. But I know one clipped me, and Oof. then and then one, and then my face hit the gate. Oof. And it made a loud sound. Right, Yo, all that, I knew that crashing gate sound was I was a little bitch. Curled and up from the then bar. on, they called you Kevin Gates. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man, it's Kevin Gates. So, Call him Kevin Gates because he got his face pressed up against the gate. So, <laughs> so kids will do to you, man. Yo, son, <laughs> you do anything as a kid, it's torture for the rest of your life. You know what my nickname in junior high school was? Jerk oh, off Josh. I was jerk off Josh. Somebody started a rumor that I masturbated in math class. <laughs> That's so funny. You know, and you know how guilty you feel about masturbating at that age anyway? I was almost questioning myself. I was like, did I how masturbate? I was like 12. Oh. Yeah, bro. We didn't what see was it. that kid's name? Fuck that kid. So John, look that kid up and kill him, man. <laughs> John fucks me up. My cousin picks me up. He's like, what happened to your face? I said, I just got into a fight. And I got my ass kicked. So wow. we go home, and I'm like, I'm doing, t- like, I'm not trying to cry, but I'm crying because like, right. my mom's about to see me. Right now, I'm going to get beat up even more. When mom sees me, she goes, pero que paso? You know, she goes crazy. And I told her what happened. And then. Um, it was John. <laughs> it was black John. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a negro young. <laughs> negro young. <laughs> que es? Yeah, we got and Your mom came out with the fucking chicletas, man. The got, chocleta. Fucking looking for him. Like nunchucks. We got John left back. Yeah, you got John left back. Yeah. yeah. I think I, yeah, I think he told me this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably still there, bro. Yeah, Legend it was has not it. It's embarrassing because my mom took me to Numero Uno. Do you know what that <laughs> the is? The pizza store. Nah, it's not a pizza store. <laughs> I was a fat kid. Numero Uno used to be like this place like where like people would take their graduation pics and stuff. And like they okay. had like it was like Walmart, but like in the hood. Okay. Right? Right. And um, my mom made me take like a photo shoot to see with your black eye, black eye, because it was over. Uh, uh, take your picture. Over no, yeah. take your pictures. Yeah. It's already planned. Yeah, it's yeah. already planned. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you have those pictures. Uh, oh, I gotta see <laughs> yeah, that. It's so man. embarrassing. And Why look, is that embarrassing? That's yo, great. Yo, man. Bro, like oh, poor beaten Kev. Yo, I told you about the time my mother slapped me once before I went to school. She hit me with such a hard right. That it made a it made a huge hand imprint on my face like that, yeah. and I got to school and like teachers were being so nice to me and everybody was like, "Wow, what's that?" Ba ba ba, 
I I started to enjoy it, yeah. you know, because I was getting like preferential treatment. But then it started to fade by like second period. So I went to the bathroom and I whapped myself like ten more times <laughs> wow. in the face to maintain um, character. That's some wild kid shit, huh? Hey, bro, like I had you f- want it? No, no, I'm I'm, I'm just talking. Yeah, about like, I just needed love really badly. Damn, I needed boy. someone to actually care if I was gonna die or not. Damn, so I wonder if I ever did any shit. I'm, pr- I'm sure I have. I'm sure like I have. like shouts for help. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was this one counselor who was really into like talking to me and i was like i realized like last second like oh shit she about to get my mom arrested <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro those mandatory reporters it's like yeah kevin tell me how many times you and feel like, like you're in danger like, from a level of one to ten like, God, <laughs> teacher call my house, son. I had the neighbors on my keep house. him come get him pick him up i don't want him <laughs> now my mom honestly she wouldn't have wanted she wouldn't have wanted to suffer the embarrassment Right, right. She would have rather have been telling people, "Nah, I couldn't handle those kids. They were terrible kids." Right. But if someone, if we were taken away because she was a unfit mother, she couldn't have lived with herself. Right. I don't think so. At least I never called child services because one, they didn't really give a shit about that Not back then. Yeah. But it was also like, I, I, listen, I was a smart kid. You could think it through. Like, all right, what's gonna happen? They're gonna pick me up, put me somewhere else. I was like, so I'm gonna have to deal with some other crazy person. Yep, yep, yep. I was like, you're better off dealing with the fucking the loony the crazy you that know. you know. The crazy you know. Then the loony you're gonna have to fucking yeah. figure, figure it out. out with. Nah, nah, nah. I, I started figuring out this family. Like, I gotta stay here. So I'm my stepfather was the most amazing dude. He was the nicest guy in the world. So if it wasn't for my stepfather, like I don't know if I could have handled my mother when I was a kid. She was fucking insane. But he was just like the comp. I could never understand it. Like she would lose her shit. Like, I'm a lose my shit type person. I inherited it from her and my father. But, yeah. like, she would lose her shit and he would just remain stoic and, like, chill the, the whole fuck Every up. time? Every. He I, never I saw, once? I saw him, like, crack once and, like, it was almost funny. It was comical. Why? Because he was like, Penny, enough. And I was like, that's, I don't buy that, Steve. What the hell was that? Man, he, you know what? Maybe one of his boys was like, yo, why are you always going to talk to you like that? And he was like, because that bitch 25 years younger than me, man. <laughs> How many of y'all fucking some bitches yeah, 25 yeah. years younger? I forgot homie was 25 years he was, he was younger than your mom. He was 55. Mom. Older than your mom. He was 55 when he met my mother, and she was 30. Damn, son. Yeah, man. Could you be with a 55-year-old woman? Nah, right. I Sexually? Yeah. No, 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 I've slept with a 55-year-old. Like, be year. with them. Yeah, for like three, three, three years. Weeks. Three years? <laughs> three years. Yeah, 62, 60's bad, right? It just, it, it just, Ooh, it, it, terrible, it, I, I hear 60 and I, I'm thinking uh, fucking diaper underwear. <laughs> depends. Ugh, ugh. Oh. Rocking that depends. You know, I, I can't I, even laugh too listen, hard. Man, bro, I don't even want to mention herself. family members who might have to use that, but the bottom line is like, can't we figure the fucking, can't we figure that shit out, bro? Like, why uh, do people have to fucking be incontinent and like piss and shit on themselves? We actually had this discussion. Would you be able? You remember this one, Kevin? Would you be able to have a relationship with a woman with a colostomy bag? Oh nah, bro. Because remember we had that comic friend who was walking around with her fat bag. Yes, yeah. We had a we have this comic friend who uh, she had a her she had a full body like lift and breasts and yeah. everything. And she's done. proud of it, you know. She's a she's a beautiful girl. I thought she was pretty beforehand, but she's a beautiful girl and she's successful. But she was walking around with a because you know after you get like major surgery, Ani, they give you a like a a discharge valve attached to where like you had your surgeries for like all like the fluids and stuff. I was like, this girl's walking around with a colostomy bag. I mean, thank God it was the winter. Yeah, Yeah, but what it could have froze up though. (laughs) Oh, that was was that? She could have had a slush fear, a slushy of of post surgery pus. I couldn't believe it, yo. Yeah. I was like, that's not, that doesn't seem worth it. I thought like once the surgery was over, you go into recovery for like a week or two. Right. And then it, you were good. I don't know, you were walking around with a colostomy. Bro, man. listen, people do these. I've, I've, I tried doing a bit on it. It's I, I got to figure it out. But like, people are going to look back on our generation in this time frame of years, because this is a new trend. I'm talking about like, Probably from like the 1990s until hopefully it doesn't go on much longer, but it's going to be like a maybe a, a 50 or 100 year trend of they're going to look back and they're like, what were human beings yeah, doing to their faces? Oh, their why faces? were rich people paying to look like salamanders? Can you explain this shit? They look like fucking monsters well, and they're paying to look like that. Well, that's for now. 
Yeah, but I'm, it's, it's going to be a better. short time. It's getting better. It's going to be a short period of time. But the thing is, they're going to look. By the way, I you think, think it's going to go on? I think, I think it's not. Not. No. Shut, 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 shut. I think it's 100 percent going to go on because it's always going to get better, and it's going to be. It's going to be that if you don't get a surge, it's going to be covered by Medicare. It's going to be like no ugly people allowed. Well, you know, if you're yeah, in, and I'm down for that world, baby. Let's go, no ugly. Does that include obese people? As obese well? people too. Like, so it's gonna fat be and ugly people. Because it's going to be they like... You have to have like a passport. I promise you, bro. To I get into McDonald's you, and shit. I pr- Can I see your fat passport? You fat bastard. I promise you, bro. But they're not going <laughs> to let you get... To, like, they're going to... BBLs, everything. like What's a BBL? Uh, Big beautiful lady? No, Brazilian butt lift. BBL. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> st- tummy talks. All that right. shit's going to be covered by insurance. And But if you... There's going to be like... We could do it once. Right. If you fuck it up, if you eat your way if through you it, eat your way through this right, shit, right, you're on your own, you're and on your you own. go to the camps, and you go to the camps, you go to the fat camps, you go to the fat, and camps. these aren't like regular; these are like, yeah, because everyone's gonna complain, like, I want that standard of beauty that the Kardashian, you know, something, somebody right. famous at the time, and then that's gonna cause like a watch. You bet. That's how crazy this world's gonna be. This is how great America is. They're not gonna let ugly people exist. Right, right. You're gonna be able to. Like, well, the way we're going, it, it's face. a possibility. It's a hundred percent. Yeah, they, they complain about shit now and they get their way. Right. You know? Well, being that America's highly influenced by, we're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a Bill Clinton esque president. You know, and right. He's just gonna be sitting. Ah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, Rick DeSantos, or whatever his name is. <laughs> Who's Rick DeSantis? The guy from Florida. Oh, yeah, the yeah, governor yeah, of Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but being that you know the United States is heavily in- influenced by Hollywood, by California, and Hollywood's run, run shit. Hollywood is is the entertainment industry. The Screen Actors Guild, SAG, as you know, I'm a very successful comedian. You can catch me in such things as Josh Pallid as Hood and Gangster, number four. <laughs> um, but uh, in SAG, they actually have a dedicated amount. If you're in like the high tier version, the Screen Actors Guild, the union, it has a designated amount of money for plastic surgery in your insurance plan. Whoa, so you're man. talking about the future. You're going to basically saying everyone's going to have is, by the way, SAG caliber s- insurance to keep uh, the uggos. Mi- the military away. has something like that too. I forgot exactly really? how it works. But they have like, you could do like one cosmetic surgery. Really? And, it, and it, you know, they say that- Lower like, that goddamn nose of yours. They, they say that, <laughs> they say that. <laughs> They say that uh, the military usually does it first, and then it gets it gets really? passed. It gets passed off. Like it becomes like a standard in the military, and then they give it yeah. to everybody. And then they give it to everybody. Okay, this, 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 we're like the test dummies. Hey, man, listen, I'm not saying ban all plastic surgery. Yeah, you know, I'd like to even get some stuff. Like I, I could really use a penis reduction. It's a little <laughs> bit too much. Mm. But what I'm saying is like. In the end, is having a more attractive or falsely more attractive people better for a society? Don't you? Don't you? Shouldn't you be able to see? I, my friend had a a, a concept. If, hold on, my friend had a concept that he believed that God made people look the way they are. So if you see somebody who looks kind of like there's something off about them, that's because they're crazy. And like nature, God gives you clues to who to they you, are. So if they're an never, ugly, you can never hide that crazy, bro. I don't give a fuck what cosmetic surgery you do. I can see the crazy, bro. It's always behind the it's eyes, in the bro. Eyes, it's always in the eyes, Chico. It's in the eyes, Chico. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the eyes in a way of your fucking... Is anybody, like... I don't know, bro. I saw, like, a a, a couple 50-year-old women that just decided, I'm going to be 50. Okay. They, they didn't do any surgery. They didn't do any surgery. And they, by the way, they look good. Okay. They look That's like not they, that old, Kevin. They, they look like they take care of themselves. Um, and they look like... Like, they just, you know, do the extra effort, the extra effort right. things to, like, just, I'm a, I, I'm going to be, I'm, people not only, people are not always going to think I'm 50, but I'm also not going to hide I'm 50. Right. And I think there's something beautiful to right. that shit. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to dye my fucking hair. I don't mind a bitch dying their hair at 50. I'm talking about, like, uh, personally. Yeah. Or were you talking about yourself oh, uh, or no, for, no, no, no. Uh, I'm talking about in, in general. Like, but for yeah. yourself, like, if you started going gray, would you, would you dye it? Well, I'm going gray now. Right. You're not going to dye it. Uh, if maybe for a role, right? But, but like, not day to day to life. Nah, nah, you don't nah, need to. Nah, I don't need to. So there, you know, here's the double edged sword. So like, <clears throat> usually very pretty, beautiful women love to go to the beach, love to stay in the sun. That sun that kills you. That's what fucking yeah. turns you into the lizard monster mm-hmm. that you are. <laughs> 
But then they go full lizard and they like get the shit pulled back. And, and then they're like, like now you look like you've always been in the sun. You maybe know? they're just maybe they're just evolving. Maybe humans are evolving. Let me ask you a question. Hmm. Do you think that like if enough people just start getting cosmetic surgery, mm-hmm. that something would happen in the ecosystem where the body will start the body alternating will start itself, altering itself, so that way you can Absolutely. stop having the surgeries Absolutely. and you would just come out looking. Absolutely, that'd be crazy. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah, people are gonna come out with big fish lips. And just... Yeah. Hello, mother. Hey, look at him. He looks like mother. Mama. I don't. I... I'd rather I'd rather you know a woman keep her her true aesthetic than mm-hmm. put some like fake fillers and shit like that. It is crazy to see the people who like the lips. The new lip injections are weird. Crazy like, as fuck. They make you your lip go like. Did you seen this shit where like, they? Although I'll be honest, I was I was dating a girl like 15 years ago, and she had this thing called lip venom. You ever hear of this, Ani? It was like something she bought from Sephora, and you'd put it on your lips, and it was like a adjutant. It's like a lip plumper. Yeah, yeah. You'd put it on I've your lip, and it would like before. it would burn your lips and make your lips plump up. It makes it all numb and tingly, and yeah. then it like I, plumps I, up for a, a small period. Of I time. did that. I put it on my lips and on my penis. Hey, <laughs> I just saw something that said that if uh, damn, what was it? oh, if a bee stung you, somebody post this up. I saw that earlier. I think it was uh, June. Uh, this life put it. Yeah, yeah if a sting, if a uh-huh. bee stings your penis, it could. Potentially Leave. permanently for life. For life. Oh, it was Kurt Ryan actually. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I'm not sure if that's true though, because it's, it's Kurt Ryan. No, it was a meme. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but what was the meme. what was the punchline of the meme? I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a, that was a great bit. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Shout out to Kurt Ryan, man. I fucking love Kurt Ryan. Yeah, bro. he's a he's a meme master. <laughs> My cat now has an Instagram page. You should follow. It's Samson the Wizard Cat. Yo, fuck that. Follow the Mac Almanac. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin woke up this morning. I, I get out of my bedroom and I see Kevin, and Kevin goes, "Yo, did, did you get a dog?" <laughs> and I was like, "What? Why?" And he points to the fucking. We have the shag carpet in the living room, and he, my cat took a fucking dog sized shit on it. Dude, it was fucking crazy, son. But they, we were uh, we were doing Olympics with him last night. Oh, yeah, we were. Like- <laughs> <laughs> I was taking Nerf guns and shooting it. I have an eighteen year old cat. And he acts like he's a kitten, and we um, he gets so much attention, man. What a fucking lucky cat. Oh, man. I don't so want to ever be reincarnated as an animal, though. I can tell you that much. I want to... Um... I wanted to sit in that dead air for a second. Why? I don't know. I just... Uh, I ran out of things to think to, to talk about. Okay. Like an asshole. Okay. You have something now? No. What about now? Coming. How about now? <laughs> Coming. All right, get push, closer. Push, 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 push. I'm sorry, it's it's dead. It's dead. It's, it's a stillbirth, dead? Kevin. I'm oh, sorry. No. I'm sorry. All that time, all that time pushing, just to have a dead piece of baby. Um, joke, baby dead joke, dead dead baby, baby joke. joke. Uh, Con- I like Kanye's album. I haven't listened to. I listened to a few. I don't tracks. doubt. He's got to uh, have like, two, three bangers. Like, there's a lot. It's weird. I'm, I'm looking at people who like say that they hate it. And I'm looking at people that say that they don't, uh, that they like it. Right. And it's like, oh, um, I'm, I'm just surprised by who doesn't like it and who does like it. I just love it. A lot that. of the hood hates it. Really? The hood hates it? <laughs> oh, they just might be yeah. some hoes. Yeah. Um, first of all, I don't care for the random people's opinions on music. Mm. I'm never going to judge a, an album based off like, oh, look at that. All my friends think this is nice. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are idiots, man. <laughs> look at how look at the shit you guys listen to now, man. I'll make my own opinion up. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to I, I Donda like... for the next three days straight in the bathtub under the under a cold shower. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put a pantyhose over my face. Mm-hmm. And, and see gonna, if you get the and same then, then, and then I'm going to try gonna, to get that feel. Try to get, that, get the feel. Try to get that Chicago I'm going to walk feel. out buck naked, just pantyhose over my face after a three-day cold shower, listening to nothing but Donda. Wow. And then I'm going to go into the streets and share my opinion on it. Then I feel qualified. Respect. I Thank like you. that. Yeah. That's how I... I actually... I, it, it sounds like I did that specifically for Donda, but that's how I listen to every album when I get it. <laughs> well, I didn't know this. Yeah. yeah the, the, the pantyhose thing, it just makes it makes it legitimate for me. <laughs> that's why, you think that's why Kanye's performing that way? I think so Kanye is is him? fucking. Sometimes I think he's like pranking everybody. Because yo, his his first two three albums are pretty fucking funny. 
I, I'm, if you I, listen to a couple of those bars, it's he's definitely a prankster. But I, I, I think it's definitely come down to this point where it's he's just like he's doing what I would do if I had his level of celebrity, which is just toying this is why with, the, with the public. This is why, like, what's that famous Twenty Seven Club, Twenty Six Club? Yeah, the ones who die at Twenty Seven. Twenty Seven Club. Twenty Seven yeah. Club. I Shout think, out Bradley No. I think Kanye might have been one of those people that should have died in the 27 Club. Yeah, maybe he did. And maybe this is the ghost of Kanye. Maybe this is the ghost of Kanye? No, he sacrificed his mother instead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I like that. No, God forbid. He would never um, do that. No, nah, he would just sell a t-shirt of him and Rob Kardashian. Yeah, I, listen, that's a pretty cool-ass I, I, t-shirt. I donned it. Uh, his concert. Is that where he got that from? That was from the Donda. No, that was from a previous that's concert. From a previous, that was like from years ago. Someone, I saw something he he reproposed to uh, Kim. That's not. I, I don't think that's true. It was just a bit he I did. Think that was a bit. Who knows if that was even Kim at that concert? Right. You know who's no, who knows if that's even him? Yeah. Well, I just performing. watched a thing on YouTube that they're cloning everybody now. Oh, is, oh. Who's just? Yeah, I, I like that. Who's Everybody's a clone, man. Everyone's a clone. Yeah. Not everybody, but like famous people, celebrities, politicians. Joe Biden's a clone, supposedly. Do you think, do you think that's why? Do you think because they're cloning celebrities, right? Uh, a a great clip, and that the government is trying to control our entertainment and how we perceive things, and, right? And, and how to pro- reprogram us through celebrities. Well, that's how they do it. That yeah. the natural order of things is like, okay. Yeah, you're gonna do that. Fine, we're gonna make this kid famous on TikTok. Right. Try to clone that motherfucker. Try to right. clone. Try to clone the millions of people oh, who are now famous. That's how we get them on back. On Instagram, we 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 the public Honest- gives them nothing but people with fucking like craziness in them, and tell them try to make more of those. Yeah. It's like yes, yes. It's like, okay. Yeah. I think they could still replicate that though. <sighs> Here's the thing though: if too many people get their 15, 20 minutes of fame. Like Addison Ray right. has. Uh, uh, what is it? One hundred and fifty million right. TikTok. You know what I mean? Well, you know what's happening now? Fame inflation. I'm going to coin that here today. Mm. Fame inflation, because everybody's fucking famous now. There's a million people on TikTok with a million fucking views. Everybody has this five little seconds of fucking fame, which makes the fame less valuable. Understand? Mm. So they yeah. want to transfer that power of fame. The, the, the powers that be that control Hollywood and, and make media and stuff like that, it's a lot easier. Like back in the day, when Hollywood first started, they had full control of the actors. Like those yeah, actors yeah, worked yeah, for yeah. pennies. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, some of them did. But event, but the uh, the tides turned through the sixties, seventies. Dude, into I just the heard 80s. Tom Cruise did some gangster shit. Like he's well, Tom Cruise is in the in the Scientology mafia. That's a mafia. I don't, I don't, I don't even think that shit really exists. Bro, they, that's the Scientology. That, okay. There's a guy named Fat Thetan. <laughs> I don't. Is that a joke? I don't know. Annie got it right, Annie. No, no. Thetans are what. Um, the, the people in Scientology believe that Thetans are these uh, s- these alien souls that attach themselves to How us. How do you know this? Because I dig, I dig deep into everything. So, we have, so they test your Thetan levels to see. Oh, yes, yes. yes. I remember this. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah, because yeah, we saw it going clear. We saw, me and Josh during the pandemic was like, right, we're going to see everything. We <laughs> did a lot of research. <laughs> the only thing I didn't watch was Tiger King, surprisingly. Tiger King. I didn't watch that shit. It, it wasn't. It wasn't that good. I know. That's why I didn't watch it. Yeah, you gotta I mean, watch it was. Last night, it was man. good for like what where we were during the pandemic. Yeah, um, but yeah, otherwise it wasn't that great. Um, the fuck was I saying? Yeah, I was busy spending my stim my stimulus on stimulants. Hey, Boom, so was I. I. Yeah, we got. We, oh, we, oh, we went. I don't know what you're talking about, Kevin. Don't yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. Um. Tiger King. No, it was before that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Donda? No, not even Donda. Oh, Tom Cruise. Tom yes, Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Uh, he was like, apparently, like, he, he went to doing, uh, what's that fucking plane movie that he was in? Mission Impossible. No, no. Plane? Oh, Top Gun. <laughs> Top Gun. So they're doing Top Gun 2, and they didn't want to rehire Val Kilmer and he goes fuck that you hire him I was you like, mean Val I Kilmer with, with his neck that's attached to his jawline Val Kilmer's a fucking is he you, you, there's a special on him on Amazon now yeah he had like throat cancer he's got like no neck left he just walks around he has like a, a scarf around well, him maybe... which is awful because he was like a good looking yeah. like ladies man fucking leading character but this works well for Top Gun. Like he's like a survivor or some shit like, like that. Living on the earth, <laughs> but I got the cancer. 
Yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> he goes, you know what? Tom Cruise is going to roll. Josh and Kevin go to hell, by Tom, the way. <laughs> Tom Cruise rolls him out, you know? Right. And he's like, oh, does he roll him out? No, no, no. Uh, this is how does he have little happens. afterburners on yeah, the side yes, of the wheelchair? Yes. No, he's like, it's, if you don't pay attention to me, this could happen to you. Right into the handicap zone. <laughs> Yo, I had a show. Rolling in a chair. I had a show terrible, Saturday. Terrible human beings. I had a show Saturday. Yeah. And, um, I'm doing this. Oh, yeah. Me. Oh, this is great. I, 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 I'm so proud of you. I told someone about it already. Push your uh, condom down. Uh, there you go. I had a show Saturday at Broadway. And, uh, last to go up. Yep. You know? Yeah. Well, they, they want the closer, you know. Son, I was so annoyed, bro. Kevin's a big puppy. I was so annoyed because I saw 11 people just get up and leave that show. And I understood why. Like Aaron Berg went up destroyed and then like put a bunch of comics who like they just not they don't got it. Right. Whatever it is that you're supposed to have. It ain't it. It ain't it, Holmes. I'm talking mad shit out here. Anyway. Yeah, we gotta stop jinxing ourselves. I know. No, no, there's no such thing as jinxing ourselves. All right. right. Fair disclaimer, everyone's terrible. Um yeah, I think I'm terrible too, man. But like I'm better than those guys. But uh anyway. Less terrible. Call the book of the day. Right. And he goes to me, yeah, my bad for giving you those shit spots. Okay, that's right? good. He acknowledged it. And then he, but you know what I'm saying? Every day. I got those same spots for you next week. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to me, he goes to me, he goes to me, he goes. He, right? Leading up to the shows, he right. goes, these are the best spots ever. Okay. These are great spots. And then right. when I call him, I'm sorry about those spots. He's a booker, bro. What do you think? Yeah, I know. Booker, I know. Bro. Whatever. So. These I'm, I'm on stage and uh, I'm doing this the mosh pit joke. Right. Right. Did you do it the way I said? Yes. You did? Yes. And it killed, right? Yeah, it did well. That's a great joke. So I'm doing this mosh pit joke and his dude is cackling hard. Right. Like, super hard. And I turn and it's a dude who's a paraplegic. Yeah. Right. Or he has like, you know, he has very little function in his arms. He definitely can't stand up. That's a paraplegic. Right. Uh, but a quad would be he doesn't have an arm use. Quad meaning four. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Quad yeah. A quad means they don't have arms or legs to use. They they, they he call, doesn't really he can't really use bo- yeah anyway so they call that lazy limbs. <laughs> that was what they called it in the old days. Oh, he's got lazy limbs. <laughs> Fell down a well. So he's <laughs> laughing at this mosh pit joke. I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> Josh and Kevin go to hell. So he's laughing at this mosh pit joke really hard. He's just shaking his fucking head right. and shit. His whole body is using. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at the him. The parts that he can control. And I was, I was like, why are you laughing at this? <laughs> Fucking Kevin. <laughs> and then the whole crowd looks. Because <gasps> everybody was sitting so close to the front, they could just see who the fuck right. I was talking about, which I was happy about. Because they 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 rolled him to the front because he wanted well, to be there. He, he, he wanted, wanted to be he, there. They so, could have hit him in the back. <laughs> they could have. Yeah. So like, uh, I said, so I'm, like, I'm fucking with him. I said, you know what? I could like pretend that I don't see him. And just turn back and do material, or I could just fuck with him a little bit, right? So, uh, I could hear a weird echo. Do you hear that, Ollie? No, I don't hear it. Okay. So, I'm, I'm like, hey, uh, did you get like that at a mosh pit? And he's dying, right? right? And his family's like, they're laughing. And he, I was like, you, you're wearing this rock T-shirt that you used to go to a rock concert. He goes, right. he goes, I still go. Right. And I, and I was like, I was like, what are you? What, does your whole family come with you and battery ram? <laughs> <laughs> and bro, he's losing his fucking mind, bro. Yeah. And his family's like yelling at but me. But the audience is fucking. The audience oh, is like oh, there. I look at. The, I forgot they were there. unconscionable. I forgot they were there, bro. I totally forgot there was like yeah, another, good. You 30 people there. there. And I turned and, they, and I realized, because their family was so loud. Right. And like all about it. Like rude. Like, maybe they, it was his birthday. It could have been his birthday. Or maybe know. it was the anniversary of when they got in the chair. <laughs> Shit, the Do they have an anniversary date for that? Uh, can we look is that, that, is that your roll day? Can we look Happy that roll day. Happy roll day. That's fucked up. <laughs> hey, man, I helped... I helped carry a guy up the stairs this week. So <laughs> oh, I'm, t- I'm not supposed to talk about that. Sorry again. <laughs> Do, uh, can you look at quad? Yeah. yeah, I walked by a staircase. Our guest who was supposed to be here today, Stephen Pantelides. Shout out, Stephen. Not showing up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, bro. Um, I'm well, I'm in the producers club, and Stephen is pushing Mike 
favor. In By the week. himself? No, with Ryan Downing uh, on one side. And these two guys have been in the gym like three days in the last <laughs> five years. Not that I'm the strongest, healthiest guy, but like I walked by and I was like, fuck, I was like, I can't just not help them. Yeah. And then I had to go down. I, I even came out of my shoe pulling the guy up the staircase. Okay, man, yo, I had to help my favor up a few times. Uh, listen, he's worth it, bro. He's yeah, a good he's kid. A funny and guy. he's actually a funny dude, man. Yeah. The water fountain joke, really good joke, man. Uh... Yeah, bro, I turned into this fucking crowd, and I have to tell him, like, you don't see his family rooting for yeah. me to do this right now? Right, that's the permission you need right there. Like, you see what's happening, right? imagine I, they were crying, like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> I He's won- in a wheelchair, <laughs> you monster. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, Stevie. <laughs> and they just, like, rolled him out in tears, and someone played a violin. That would have been, that would have been my favorite thing that happened. It would, you would have been laughing till this minute. Been, okay, been like, I, I, I've reached the pinnacle in comedy. I'm retired <laughs> now. Yo, son. And I'm sure Aaron Burke said something about him, but I wasn't there for his set. Um, but yeah, it was just funny. It's just of course it was, and you made and I told you you made that guy's. Night oh no, I definitely made it because people just want to be treated like humans, you know. Despite whether they are in a wheelchair or they had horrible plastic Girl. surgery that made them look like lizards, it was so fun seeing him do ear claps and shit. Like, just wow, you know <laughs> that was that was the most movement he got in his upper extremities in a long time. <laughs> Yo, man, and I could tell like, his bro- I think he's like either his cousin or his brother. He started heckling people mm. just so that way that they would acknowledge. They were like turning, and I guess every comic turned so what was going on. I was like, no, really, start- pussies, oh, bro. By the way, uh, like, you wouldn't say that if you were in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> it's my brother, man. He's in a wheelchair, man. Bro, and, uh, again, I have no idea that this. I have usually a comic. Indicates no, it, like, at least one or two. So, and I it's went the in elephant there. in the it's the elephant, elephant in the wheelchair in the room. <laughs> the elephant in the wheelchair. Somebody would have acknowledged that, right? Man. But no one did. Uh, that's pussy shit. No one did, bro. And I didn't honestly. I had no idea that he was even there. Right. You just caught it in the middle of it. It was it, like a love thing. It was like, like, oh, Aww. look at this. Look at Ani shaking her head. She's like, "You're the first. <laughs> you're the last. The handicap." Bum, 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 bum. Do you think <laughs> could you be handicapped? God forbid. No. no. Bro, you I do my joke <laughs> no, on no, stage. No, no. You know my joke on stage? No, 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 no. Don't do it. Okay. I mean I you I can. Do bit. Basically, I just think that they save too many people's lives. And if I was severely injured, I'd like to be euthanized. And if not, I'll figure a way. <laughs> I'll figure a way. <laughs> just just take me to the take me to the top. Take me to the top. Take me to the rooftop. I want to see, see the, the sunset. Of the sunset. Just roll me, roll me a little closer. I've been in a coma for too long. Just roll me a little closer. Just a little closer to the Thank sun. So, just a little closer now. <laughs> and I roll myself off the side of the hospital building that saved my fucking life. <laughs> Jesus, man. Seriously, like, I, yeah, we saved too many lives, and not the ones in Afghanistan, unfortunately, <laughs> man. What What's the mean? end result, Kevin? You're in the military. I don't mind the military no more, bro. Well, you were in the... Listen, technically, you're more in the military than I am. Yeah, but like... That because they, you have a file. Me, <laughs> the World War Three breaks out. Israel comes and picks me up. Yeah. I'm like, Joshi, time to go. <laughs> time to go defend the motherland. How you feel about uh, Israel and, like, they're saying some wild shit over there, bro? Like what, Kevin? They were like, uh... <laughs> it's how you start shit with Josh, though. <laughs> they won't... Consider you immune to COVID right. unless you take three vaccines. Well, wh- why would you not want to do that? You c- you should take as many vaccines as possible. As many vaccines as yeah, possible. Yeah, you should go. Honestly, if you're a responsible human, sign up. Mm-hmm. It, they're free now. You're getting $50, $100 a piece mm-hmm. to as many vaccines as possible. Do your part for society. I'm on, like, number 16, 17 now. I feel great. Yeah. I, I feel safe. I'm still wearing four or five masks when I go out in public because we don't know yet. Cover your mouth, nose, mouth. Well, they they came ears. out with a report that said the the face mask only like it does like 5% recession. So if you put 5 to 10 of them, you can get like 25 to 50% Whoa. prevention of dispersal. So do your part, get as many vaccines as you can get. As many, man. You heard um, it here. And uh, subscribe uh, to the Mac. the Mac Almanac because that's honestly really the cure. <laughs> Cuz I mean, look at Kevin and I. We're obese. <laughs> we're handsome. Mm-hmm. We're Beautiful. Our penises work. 
wonderfully work, well. Wonderful. I had great sex last night. Did you, did, have you done? Have you done what I told you to do? About what? Is, is that good vodka? I didn't do that good vodka last night. Bro. I had Tito's actually last night. I had a uh, not the same, bro. Yeah, not the same. But you know what? It's okay because I had the uh, I had the candy store uh, Chinese honey packet. Bro, you already you know the Chinese honey packet. You know the Chinese honey. I gave you one of those before. Yeah, well, I got hard on the way there. I Kevin I, once I gave Kevin, <laughs> I gave Kevin. Do uh, you remember this? Yeah, Can yeah. I talk about yeah, yeah. it? I gave Kevin. Just don't say names. I won't. I don't know. I don't. Or, or like even nobody. I don't even. I've never even. You've never even told me the name of anyone. I gave Kevin a a candy store Chinese Viagra, mm -hmm. as well as a Chinese honey packet Viagra, which they're both basically just Viagra. And uh, Kevin doubled down and took both of them. Yeah, I should never done that. <laughs> and, he, and he had to walk around with a sledgehammer for like hours. Hours. <laughs> hours. Yeah. Hours. Tell us a story, Kevin. Yo, I gave this girl. I did it twice. Oh, oh I so did you, it once on my own accord. The first time you told me, you were like, you were scared. You're like, oh no, I did them both. And you had to test the hypothesis. Yeah, I did it uh, at least twice. Right on my own accord, and I did it twice on my own accord. Oh I mean, no, once on my own accord. But the first time I did it was because you were like, you really want to show. I, I wanted to show this girl a good time, and I was like, for some reason, I was scared of busting my nut early. But I think it was like during quarantine, I wasn't getting right. Pussy. It was first sex out. Yeah, and I was like, nah. I'm FSO, gonna, first sex I'm out. Gonna, yeah. Deep filth. Yeah. Fall in love fast. So these are all acronyms we've come up with. Yeah, deep filth. <laughs> fall in love fast. So team filth, baby. I'm out. I'm out. And I take these two things. Mm -hmm. I got to the. I, I mean, I'm giving. I'm giving that. Giving that performance sex. Damn. Yeah, bro. Man. Yeah. Like that kind of dick that like. You I remember mean, when it, you it altered our lives? Right. Right. Truly, it did. Right. Because life shattering. She still it hits was, me up. Right. Man. Right. She had a um, she, a life changing injury from it. <laughs> she still hits me up the fuck. The only thing penis she can feel anymore is Kevin's <laughs> double dosed penis. <laughs> Every other dick, she's like, "This even a human penis? What is this? How she, is this not the size of a man's arm?" <laughs> and I and I and I fucked her once without it, mm -hmm. and I must honestly, I busted in like four minutes. Oh God. I busted inside last night. Yeah, yeah, and I that's why she's so lovey dovey today. Yeah, well, yeah she was, was good. Sex. She's like insanely lovey dovey. It today. was good. Well, no, that's because the guy died. Yeah, she you was know, like Josh. My girlfriend's a doctor, and and she gave she had a a patient come in like a week ago or ten days ago. Perfect health. Perfect health. She gave him an EKG. The EKG was perfect. Blood tests, everything. The guy's girlfriend called in today. The guy passed away. He went to Atlantic City. He, they said that he had like eight eight or ten beers. They were like out. Well, me and Josh. I was like, my like, man was <laughs> sniffly differently. Yeah, he, he did eight, ten. He did twenty four beers. Yeah, let's be real. Yeah, but she was like, doubles. she was like, oh my god, and my boyfriend's so much older and in <laughs> worse shape. How is he still alive? <laughs> I see the way he drink. I oh, puppy. Well, you know, I didn't drink but for a she, week. You know what she told me? Huh? She was like, Kevin, Josh always say there was. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Josh always say that one day I'm going to wake up and he's going to be dead. <laughs> so today I'm well, I do this a lot in the it. I do this a lot in the bed at night. Why are you <laughs> torturing this poor woman? I do this a lot in bed. I go like this. One. Oh my god! <laughs> and she'll come over and I'm like, <laughs> and then she'll like press on me and then I'll be like, Papa, Papa. <laughs> Listen, I do as my father did That's before funny. me. You know my dad used to do, Ani, when I was a kid? My father was a, a Navy SEAL for the Israeli military. He could hold his breath for like four minutes. Oh, my So he God. would, anytime we would go into a pool somewhere, he would do a dead man's float. You know what a dead man's float is? Yeah. You yes. just like hang out like this with yeah. your face. And he would put face down for like four minutes without moving. And like I would see people panic. Did you send me that? I never. I don't have a video of it. Uh, no, no, no. Of the of the father do, letting his son do the dead man flow. No, no, I didn't. Oh, uh, can I send you something? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, we're, I think we're already at the oh, end. We we'll do it next time. Okay. Yeah. But he used to do it all the time, and I remember I used to sit. I'm like, I remember sitting on those like you know those by the pool plastic lined chairs, and I remember you know the ones that are strips, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I remember like sitting on it because he did it so often, 
And I'm like watching people panic around me. And I'm like, look at these fucking idiots, man. <laughs> And that's how I got my perspective on what human beings are mm. in the world. But I think that's a way later. My dad was crazy. My dad used to chase me around. He used to put, I, one of my youngest memories, he put like strawberry jam all over his face and chased <laughs> me around his apartment. <laughs> you know that I, you want to know the best story? My father, he used to have a gun lighter, you know, to light cigarettes. And one day in his apartment, I picked up one of his gun lighters and I clicked it, and I shot a twenty-two bullet into the top of <laughs> into the top of the apartment. <laughs> you never told me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was the gun lighter. Well, imagine if you would have been. Yeah, I I would have saved myself and everybody <laughs> from this fucking life. I don't take no shots. <laughs> How old were you? Probably like eight. Eight? Probably so Alex your dad eight. just left a 22 around the eight year Bro, my dad used to... Jesus Christ. How are you alive, man? I don't know, but I ask myself that question all the time. Oh, my goodness, bro. I wonder... Oh, Listen, bro, you, you were in dangerous situations yourself as a kid. Yeah, 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 but like... The fact that we made it out alive, this is what... This is what... There were a few times I should have been dead, but that's, you know... That's for another day. You ever had a gun put to you? No, not really. Yeah. In the uh, nobody pointed a gun at you in the army. Kevin, this is what it feels like to have an M sixteen pointed at your face. I, I had to prevent someone from grabbing a gun. Who was like getting pissed and shit? Yo, is this the one that you had to hide the guy's weapons because his wife cheated on him or something? No, that's a different story. Or someone story. fucked his girlfriend or something? That's a different story. Oh, man. That's a lot a of fucking story. cheating going on in the military, man. I mean, tons of cheating. Isn't it in the Marines where it's a li- like you can't do that? You'll get like thrown out? You can't do that anywhere. But like, isn't there like one that like all, really all, frowns upon it? All of them do. But I think it's like the. the no, 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 no. It's all of them. The few, the proud, the don't touch my wife, I'll murder you <laughs> and kill everybody here. Uh, that is mad cheating going on in the military. Bro. Yeah. Bro. And it's crazy, like. Well, you say a lot of those dudes end up with like fucking horrific looking monsters, especially like uh, the higher the rank, the, the uglier the wife, crazier looking the wife is. Right? I am a corporal commander, <laughs> honey. You know why? Because Honestly, we don't have the USO anymore, man. Gor- no, we, you know why we no, won no, World no, no, War Two? No, no. Do you ever no. see how fucking hot those we, women look, we, man? We had, we had, a, we have a USO. We have a USO, and it's ran by hot women. Yeah, and those are who. The husbands cheat on with with oh but they 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 marry these women like I don't know if they blow they marry these women there's something that happens when you to you when you go into the military where like for some reason you feel like you got to get married like you if you fall in love quicker like it's it's really weird is USO you suck oodles of penis <laughs> I'm gonna let you <laughs> I'm gonna let me ride with that I'm one I'm gonna let man. you ride with that one yo. I'm just jealous that I wasn't in the military. Nah, you would have fun. Nah, you would have. You know, when I was really fat, I was preparing to go to jail. So I, was, I thought when I was really fat, that would be how I would get into shape. He's going to jail. Yeah, because I figured I thought I was gonna get. I thought I was getting in trouble, so I was yeah. like, all right, I'll just go to jail and like I'll just get. You no, know, apparently rapes don't happen as often in jail as people. Nah, think. you really got to work for it. Yeah, you got to work. <laughs> <to get hurt. laughs> like that's like a really frowned upon. Thing. Dear Kevin, there hasn't been much rape this month. <laughs> My like brother's telling me because yeah, people don't really, they don't, they don't do that. And if if they find out you rape somebody, somebody they'll Bro, fuck you up. My boy went to state pen. He told me they were doing, but that's in New York, though. No, no, he was in uh, West Virginia, I think. And they, he told me they were doing crazy shit. There. You know what? I don't want to go to jail. They were doing. Atlanta. Listen, I told you this a long time ago. They were doing penis augmenting surgery. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? There was dudes in his jail that were. They, there was a guy who would do it for you, yeah, and they would insert Dude, pieces of like like metal into your penis, like in like on the shaft way, to like enlarge and like it was like some fucking. You uh, lying, bro? I swear to you. I swear to you. I'll call my boy and yeah, I'll he'll tell you about lying. it. No, he's not. He would. This is not something he would. It wasn't. He's not like a hey, inventor. Man, think about that shit. No, it's a hundred. It's a hundred percent. No way. It's a hundred. I, I guarantee you. If we Google it, it's you probably about advice. They did- Jail surgery. They're in jail and they're they're inserting like pieces of metal on the shaft way of the penis to make it like rigid and all types of crazy shit. And my boy told me like the guy like offered he's like oh I could do it for you for free. And my boy's like yo you're not doing that shit to me bro. 
He's like, I'm good with my dick. I don't need any fucking like Vulcan looking penis apparatus added to my penis. Whoa, bro. Yeah, dude. I'm you telling you. I'll find it. I'll show you it, bro. Does, I mean, if this is true, yeah. there's got to be an article written about it. Like, yo, There's 100% a Vice fucking. There has to be. Hey, I'm in, uh, I'm in fucking San Diego jail and we're, uh, sh- we're sticking rock stones in our fucking dick way now. I'm telling you it's true. We'll find it. We're going to find it. And you know what? Yeah. This is the Mac Almanac. This has been the Mac Almanac, man. What a great show, I thought. Yeah, yeah. I like sitting across from you. Me too. Yeah. Um, uh, I like that. I like you, brother. Thanks, Kevin, man. You're a good guy. Listen, you know what? The world's coming to an end, but at least we have friendship. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we need. All right, man. Make sure you tune in every single week. Every single motherfucking week. Follow. It's Kevin Sanchez. Follow at Joshua Pallet. Follow at the Mac Almanac. Make sure you share. Make sure you comment. If you hate something... You can write us, tell us how much you hate it, tell your friends. Just share the word. Let yeah. people know. We're here. We're not going anywhere. Do you guys want uh, people to write you uh, if they need advice or anything? Yeah. Yeah, if you need advice with your bitch or your or your bo- or your man. Right. Yeah, yeah, if you just need to figure shit out. I mean, we give, we'll give you um, relationship uh, any advice. Relationship advice. Life advice. Life advice. Advi- work advice. Yeah, maybe you're having troubles. Like, me and Kevin. Is it, it going to be legit? Like, no, but it, it, we're, pretty, we're pretty savvy dudes. We yeah. survived this long. The Pravda, <laughs> as the Russians would say, it's the truth. It's the truth, motherfucker. It's the truth. Yeah, listen, family advice, you're getting, you know, your parents don't like you, you don't like your parents. Yeah, we'll give you, like, you yeah. give us the details. Before you lose your shit and, like, go postal in the world. At least let us make us laugh with terrible Yeah, advice. yeah, let us know how bad your life is so we can feel less bad about yeah, ours. Yeah, that's really what we do this podcast for. Yeah, that and love. Yeah. We love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you're feeling like a pimp <laughs>